Okay, next we are going to learn about the three tables as well as six tables. So, what is the no, this is like a comparative study, like a three tables and a six tables. Why this is a comparative study means? So, I am going to uh, follow the same method or same uh, trick to the three table and as well as for the six table. So, the comparative study, three tables and six tables. Okay, so in uh, before my two classes, if you seen my video, I have told you, you can use the skip counting method. Yes, of course, you can also use a skip counting by three method also. But if the kids feel very difficult about those uh, 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 skip counting by three method, you can, uh, you, sorry, you can uh, learn the three table and as well as a six table using the grid method. Okay, so what is a grid method? Means it is not uh, anything available very big very simple I'm going to draw the uh, one box like this okay and two lines like this one and two one two three four five six seven eight nine so we want we want to have out nine boxes inside how many boxes are there one two three four five six seven eight nine so how many boxes are there nine boxes are there okay listen here uh, listen uh, carefully okay now see how many boxes are there we have to we we need nine boxes inside one two three four five six seven eight nine so totally a uh, nine boxes are there so we want to check it for a rechecking or for your confirmation i'm saying you have to draw one big square and you want to make sure of it in having the nine sections or nine small squares okay so what is the procedure one big uh, square and one uh, 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 slanting line and two sleeping line okay instead of i'm not mentioning horizontal and vertical because like you are a kids no you will be get confused so only i'm just saying standing line and sleeping line okay so two standing line and two sleeping line so after you're drawing a two standing line and two sleeping line so how many sections or how many small squares were uh, it should be there nine isn't it one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so so this is the first one okay first you take this portion alone so this portion one two three okay one two three next four five six next seven eight nine okay one two one two three four five six seven eight nine now you are going to fill the second digit number how you are going to fill First, we have a, only taken the standing portion, standing like the, this this portion, and we have our, uh, write it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you want to be very clear from where I have written the one, two, three. I have written from one from down to upwards, down to upwards, down to upwards. On this format, I have written. Okay, children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, it is a time to fill the second digit. So, what is the procedure or what is the uh, procedure to fill the second digit? It means it's a very simple. It's a very simple when comparing the first step. First, we have to take the sleeping line. 0, 0, 0. Next, we have to take it the uh, second sleeping line. 1, 1, 1. Next, you have to take the third sleeping line. 2, 2, 2. Okay, children. First, you have to take it the first sleeping line. I have uh, filled with the uh, number 0, 0, 0. Next, second sleeping set of uh, line. I have filled it with the 1, 1, 1. Next, I have filled it with the 2, 2, 2. Okay, so you can take you have to first you have to write the 
one more time i will tell you because uh, you should not get confused because it is very easiest method you should not get confused i'm once more uh, one more time i'm going to tell it very right, children okay so first we want to draw the one big square two standing line two sleeping line from the downwards please listen from the downwards key letter from the downwards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 7 8 9 from downwards we want to write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, uh, this is a very uh, important step don't uh, reorder the uh, format like 1 2 3 you have don't re reorder you want to remember one point you want to write the number from the down to upward so only i have drawn the arrow drawn the arrow like he like this Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the step one. The step two, you are going to put the first digit number. First digit means the your this is the second digit number. We have find it out the second digit number. Now we are going to put the first digit number. Okay, so this is the this is the first sleeping line. You have to put zero, zero, zero. Next sleeping line one 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 after zero one. So next third sleeping line you want to put two 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 zero one two. So it is very easiest method. We have finished. So now I am going to write one into three is equal to three. Two into three is equal to six. Three into three is equal to nine. See here. Four into three is equal to twelve. Five into three is equal to fifteen. Six into three is equal to eighteen. Seven into three is equal to twenty-one. Eight into three is equal to twenty-four. Nine into three is equal to twenty-seven. Of course, we already know ten into three is equal to thirty. So this is the simplest grid method to learn the three tables.